Nablus, the once beating heart of Palestinian economy. President Abbas promised his new government would revive its economy and restore law and order. Residents supported his efforts, but months later, they're still frustrated by the limitations of his authority and its inability to deliver on promises made. This small shoe store feeds four brothers and their 22 children. I was invited to take a look at the warehouse. Abu Samara, one of the owners, told me it was destroyed for the fourth time in the last Israeli incursion earlier this month. Abu is still lost for words as he looks around his burnt warehouse. He shows me the charred remains of what was a prosperous business. He's not sure his business can recover this time. The Palestinian government is responsible for me. I believe in the Prime Minister. That's why I hold the Palestinian government partially responsible, because I believe the occupation is not interested in seeing him succeed. In these historic alleyways of Nablus city in the northern West Bank, residents don't hide the fact that they're satisfied. The Palestinian Authority is actually making an effort to restore law and order. But they also realize this is an authority under occupation. And for those wanted by Israel, these days are especially dangerous. They feel more vulnerable than ever with each new Israeli incursion. The governor of Nablus admits his security forces are not able to do their jobs properly. Ordinary people in Nablus depend on them to keep the peace, but this is almost impossible to do. Nablus Nablus and Palestinian cities are occupied, and we can only work when and where we are allowed by the Israelis. But we are determined to succeed because this is in our interest. This is al Janaid prison. Under a deal struck with Israel, some Palestinian activists were pardoned by Israel, provided they placed themselves under voluntary imprisonment. They live here and other Palestinian prisons, though they have never been convicted of a crime. There are others who Israel refuses to pardon, like Ahmad Sanakri, who was high on its hit list. He was killed by Israeli forces on Friday. Receiving condolences for her son Ahmad, Um Ibrahim Sanakri holds the Palestinian president and his prime minister responsible for not protecting her son. For Nablus residents, repeated scenes of grief like this chip away at the credibility of Palestinian leaders who promise peace and prosperity but are helpless in confronting the determined fire of Israeli occupation. Nur Al Jazeera, Nablus.